Alright, I love you. Alright, my little Libras. Let's do December, the first two weeks of That's December. Me. That is, is October. That December. is you. Yeah. yeah, but I'm doing zodiacs. I'm doing them all. Me and me's a Libra. So, this is going to be December 1st through the 15th of 2019. Give or take a few days. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do, I'm doing it a little differently, okay? Um, okay, they're ready. I'm doing it a little differently. Oh. I am... All right, sweetie. I am throwing your energy and a, a brief... Sorry, guys. A brief description um, on the surrounding energies. Sorry. Lucy Goose is like all over the place. So, scrolling down with my Libra. Well, that was quick. Seven of Cups. Libra, Libra. Oh, I love you more. Six of Cups. Let's get one more. I feel like, yeah, you're getting yourself out of out of something. It's like judgment, three of swords. Okay, this I don't. Oh, okay. I feel like you're like tell me this isn't happening. It's like. To me, you're not being yourself. I hate to say that since it's not even exposed yet, but considering or or someone is like has been lying to you and it's time to detach. My Libras need to detach from a situation. I don't think you're delusional. I, I think it's literally like... This is actually a little hard for me to do because I feel like I'm picking up on Gemini and Aquarius energy where, especially Aquarius, you might want to check out Aquarius because Libra was the, the like, where I was like, there's not a lesson. Here it is. And it's like, if you ask me, It's like, what the fuck energy? It's like, are you kidding me? Whatever's like, it's almost like you're looking at somebody, something, it's almost like an exposure. And it's time to detach. In the other videos, you didn't want to though. Libra, seven of cups. Because it's almost like it's either you have to detach or they do. It looks like, let's just see. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, here you are. It's like, again, wanting to fight for somebody, not wanting to give up. But it's like you've been through battle and battle and battle and battle with this person. But you're you're no joke. You cut right through that bullshit too. But it's like, I hate to, to be so blunt, but it is, you also deal with bullshit. Some of you. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Because it's like, you still, it's like battle after battle after battle. And it, you, you it's, oh man. If this doesn't um, resonate, please go watch your moon rising and your Venus and your Midhaven, please. The devil reversed. So it's almost like this, whomever this is to you, a partner, a lover, they don't want to be in this toxic cycle anymore. It is, they're passing judgment. They're, they're done juggling whatever you guys have been juggling for a long time.
And that's the lovers. So it's like somebody making a choice. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, see, they someone wants to go in a new direction, and it's not towards you. Tell me about you. Sh you're the one. I mean, you are one. So it's either you're looking at this person like you've been lying to me the whole time, or like because I don't know if you if this is you or the other energy. I feel like it's the other energy, like it's the partner, and it, and it's like they've been wearing a mask, like they, you know what I mean, like. There's been competition. There's been something in the picture. Drama after drama. Yeah, like they're breaking some type of contract. Yeah, see, somebody's going to be left out. It, it looks like they might possibly be choosing another person. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Your lesson here is to detach, or it's their lesson. It's probably both of your lessons. I feel like it's it's more yours. Okay. Stop investing time into it. You're not happy in a current situation anyway. It looks like the truth might be exposed, and it is like you're mentally feeling trapped. Like it's almost like you don't want to let go of whatever you invested time into, but it is a lesson here to, to do it. You haven't been being your true self either, whether this is you or someone else. Neither of you have been authentic in this situation. Neither of you. It, it's, it's like... Lessons of getting to know you again, and it's like you're not you're not having it Hold on I don't think you want to let go It's like the partner letting go. But you're saying you want to stay in this for all the wrong reasons. There, there's no love. It's all the wrong reasons. And you know it. It's almost like either you or them. It's like a mental mind trap. I think it's you guys. Like, it's like somebody wants to leave the scene, and it's like you, it's like you want to. You're trying to figure out a way how to how to put them in a mental mind trap. This is so harsh. <clears throat> Libra. That flew out. Reflection. Which is not what you want to do. Okay. It says honor who you are. It's find the truth in who you are, your authentic self. You know, let it let yourself shine. Go through what you have to go through. Your life journey is all a it's like too much self-judgment and criticism. It no longer serves you. You need to understand and appreciate what's going on right now with each lesson. You have your own unique path. Self-awareness and observation. It's time for you to release what you need to and take responsibility for the own events and how something's going down in your life right now is, is beyond and out of your control. Recognize the beauty in a situation, which I, I know you're not right now. I get it, right? But appreciate the silence. Uh, allow yourself to reflect. Visualize something new. You are a wise person. Stop using it to your advantage, too. See what I'm saying? It's, it's, 
I don't feel quite all the manipulating energy, but it's like, it's, it's time for you. Honor yourself. You wanting somebody back after such behavior is not honoring yourself. It's like you, you fight for somebody who ruined something. And it, it, there's a lesson here. You're not even your authentic self within this relationship anyway. And it's like... You're investing time with somebody for all the wrong all the wrong reasons and the universe is like it's enough. So I don't know if this has happened previously. Like if you've been cheated on plenty of times throughout a period of forty years, twenty years, ten years, and, and you keep taking this person back, you're not learning. You need to detach. Stop trying to figure out a way to manipulate energy right here. So somebody will invest because somebody no longer wants to invest. And it looks like a long-time relationship or a marriage. They're going in a new direction. You guys' situation seems toxic anyway. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Because instead of detaching, it's almost like you're trying to manipulate energy. And it's, it's like... Um, that's too many. Where's I don't even see the love. Like, where's the love? It's oh man. Yeah, it's it's it is trying to. The truth is, like somebody wants to. It's like needing to detach. But it's like fixated on, on this energy, fixated on the family, fixated on someone not having a new start. Like, it's almost like, it's like, I'll forgive you. It, it's like you want to forgive someone, but it's like they're making a judgment call to move forward. And you're like, how do I manipulate the situation? How, how do I manipulate it so this person doesn't have a new start? The, the Ten of Pence is out, right? It came out with the Aquarius too in, in Gemini. But um, tell me about the Ten of Pence. Um, like, why? Because it's ironic it keeps coming out in Pence and not with love. Yeah, see, I don't know if you're just trying to hold on to money or you're holding on to something that just needs to be released you're just trying to hold on to something like the emperor you know um see is there's no there's I'm sure there's love but there's not there's not love like that with this story this is this is hard this is you been holding on to someone for a very long time and you knew you should have let go a long time ago but you're still trying to figure out a way to hold on to the family. But you're doing it in a way where karma is going to come and kick your ass. You're manipulating the energy. You're manipulating it so the husband, is this the emperor? Yeah, so like the husband sticks around. Right? So it's like detach why you can. I I see this being a battle. I, I... So sorry you're going through this. But this is... A, 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 this is like... Go watch Gemini and... Um, Libra because Aquarius... All the air signs are kind of together. This is Libra, sorry. But... Um, you have such a prominent role in all the other ones. It's it's something that's ending. It is you can't you can't stop it, and you want to. You're definitely gonna try to. But if you've been cheated on, please understand. Regardless, it is. It, it, it probably was not the first time, and you stuck around. This lesson was meant to be learned. Nine years ago, maybe. Maybe even nine years ago or more than that. Nine months ago. However it goes down to you. So, surrounding energy.
five of swords so it's like the other energy again is looking at this as it's it's a lose lose it's a battle is they're leaving a situation you know um they're exposing something some type of truth And those same two exact cards are, are already out here. See what I'm saying? So it's it's almost like it, this person's detaching and it's like it, you're trying to figure out a way to keep them in this scenario. But it's almost like, I don't know. But all I know is that something flipped. And it was the Eight of Swords reversed. So it's almost like, we'll see. Come on. It's almost like, um, so sorry about that. It's almost like you can't keep them trapped. It's like over. Hold on. I love you more. I'll be done in a minute, okay? Something is definitely ending. The high priestess. It's almost like they're following they're following destiny, taking themselves out of toxicity and, and seeing where the wheel takes them. That's that's and look at that Aries, that's what they've been dealing with, six of cups, okay? So it's like their happiness is elsewhere. And I god, I hate to say that, you know, but like it was whatever went down, it was it's karmic. Look how karmic that is, but it's like the other energy, whether it's the wife, the husband, however it works, they're following destiny. They, You guys were not truly fulfilled in this situation. So you got one following destiny, and it looks like my, my Libra just is doing anything to hang on and, and manipulate a, a situation. I hope things um, get better. Okay. If you're looking for a more detailed reading in the description box below, um, you will find a link there, and I can give you more insight on, on what you're looking at. Okay. But a karmic cycle is ending, and it's I really need my Libras to 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 move forward and detach because if you don't, it looks like you're not. This this karmic cycle is going to hit you hard, and maybe that's what some Libras need. But that's it's rough. It's just rough. I don't like seeing that type of energy. I I I've been there. You know, it's not, it's not easy by any means, okay? So, do your best to, to focus on you right now and what's best for you and you only. Bye. Love you.